Welcome to everyone. Welcome to Pastime Picks Podcast. I'm Keith, Finch of Sport Flips. And I'm Andy, King of Pennants. Hey guys, so uh, for anyone new tuning in, we each week we draft a different sports or non-sports topic, and we delve into sports memorabilia, reselling some sports cards as well. And uh, so it's a fun time, and, and this week we're going to draft our our favorite all-time baseball uniforms. Uh, yeah. An odd one. You don't see this one drafted too much. I think it would be an interesting one to do. Right. Yeah, there's a I mean, I don't know what you're going to go on this. I feel like you're going to be going in the 1800s and stuff like that. So uh, we'll I, I have a feeling that, um, you know, anybody that's uh, still around will maybe will vote for me because I do actually normal ones. Wow, come what's on. up, Dan? Hey, Dan. Oh. I didn't see the comments yet. Hey, Dan. What's up, man? Welcome in. Another great, great episode today of the reseller leftovers. Uh Okay. Yeah. Great, great, great. And I learned something that could save my life, Andy, from Dan. Right. And you, you, I'm, everyone I'm, needs to tune I'm in afraid. and listen to this. I'm afraid. He gave a tip that he keeps a baseball bat under his bed with a sock on it. So if there's like a home intruder, he can swing the bat at the intruder. They will grab for the bat, but instead of ripping the bat away, they'll take the sock off and he can go wow. back for a second swing. <laughs> Dan, so, it sounds like Dan's had a long time to think about this. It's like he's. No, what, Prepared for uh, for an apocalypse, too. <laughs> I'm hunting for a sock right after this episode. And, well, I have a ton of bats, but yeah, I have to get right. the right sock. So, but yeah, you better take take Dan up on that tip because that's a that's a could save yeah. a life. Maybe we could have a segment of Dan's uh, like self protection tips or something yeah. like that. Each yeah. week we have one where he's like, you know, uh, hit him with a bag full of nickels. I don't know. Just like, <laughs> what are those uh, people, the doomsday preppers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's not like a but maybe he's got like you know that fits in that vibe too. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but Andy, on that note, saying that you might win if people stick around, I did take it down last week. If you saw the the poll, it was a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty close. Stiff. No, not pretty close. It's like sixty-seven thirty-three victory. So, what do you think? What do you think put you over the edge? What was your? Uh... I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure to be honest. Just. Just the way I explained it, my, you know, I, the picks were, huh? I'm trying to think what your pick, what were your picks again? I forgot. What was your, uh, NC state over, uh, Houston. Yeah. And, uh, then hmm. I think that, that later, one could have won the later might have got it later. Yeah. yeah. Yours are pretty strong. And you, you had the fab five or four. Did, did you have yeah, that? I, one I took okay. the fab five. Yeah. So yeah. Pick, How's it going, man? I, I think I went to just, Annoy you and take your pick, and uh, with the Villanova. I mean, the Villanova one you had to put on there, I feel like, but yeah, it is, yeah. sometimes well, it works out. I, I mean, I love the Villanova pick better, but I think the, uh, I think the Duke pick would have been more broad, you know, broad for people to vote for you. Yeah, oh, also, Mark, glad it, glad it got to you safely. Cool program. He he bought uh, he bought two things that I bought in my video. I think two weeks ago, Andy Mark he bought uh, the Boston Bruins record that I bought it was like a. Uh, season highlights 1971 i believe and then the uh one game playoff program yankees red sox like the bucky dent walk-off home run oh very cool so very cool program yeah oh what's up chris and chris won the giveaway last week and on that note guys we do have a giveaway this week we're giving away a pretty cool i uh, like it in front of the mic it's yeah. a my mic is in the way now that i moved it <laughs> but uh it's a this is not a true vintage pen in it. Well, it's vintage. It's probably made in like the eighties, but it's a throwback oh. style uh, of like a forties Re reproduction, right? It's a re repo. Yeah. yeah. Reproduction, but still, still cool pen. And I generally don't sell reproduction items. Yeah. I wouldn't sell like modern stuff. This is not modern, but yeah, going to give it away to someone. It's still a cool, cool. Uh, yeah. We had a couple, piece. we had a couple questionable ones too. I think we're still trying to, um, Maybe not questionable, but I think as long as you sort of recognize it in the thing, because we there were a couple that like if they weren't reproductions, you know, they could have been hundreds, maybe even thousand dollar pennants or something. But I think there was yeah. one. If I remember, there was a uh, ABA one, right? That we we were looking at the ABA. Yeah, I still have that. I mean, who know? I mean, yeah, I still have that. I haven't listed it yet, but um, yeah. yeah, it's 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 like the Americans or something like that. I can't something like that. But um, awesome. yeah, awesome. Boston Brave stuff is cool, I think, actually. Um, yeah. Stuff that I've seen. So, all right. We well, want to jump right into it. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's figure out the dress first. Yeah. Here. I'm, yeah. Uh, 
I'm excited about this one. Actually, I was like, I wasn't really sure about this at first, and then the more I dug into it, and like, yeah, uh, there's some there's some cool ones for sure. Yeah, brought back some memories and stuff like that. So it's all good. I have so many tabs up right now. There we go. There it is. I'm not gonna. And guys, don't. Uh, I don't want to give anything away too much, but there could be a change of venue for this guy next next week. Oh. Um, we <laughs> we got my studio is almost complete. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait for the unveiling next week. Maybe. So, yeah, I think I think it'll be pretty impressive. I think you guys are gonna like it. But all right, all we're, right. Gonna get, we're gonna see who picks here. Yeah. Interesting. There's like back to back. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah. You gotta randomize them. You have to do it. Uh, so they they automatically are two of them next to each other every time I randomize it. So I just gave up. Oh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, that was a that, that was, was a cool awesome. one. That was yeah. pretty fun to do. Yeah, um, we got we got some other vintage wax in the mail today, Andy. I got um, eighty top baseball. Cool. cool. Some some eighty two top baseball, and there's a uh, some eighty five tops. So it's they're not like high end packs, but still fun yeah. to open them. Yeah, it was funny because I was going back through some of my old baseball cards and stuff, and kind of getting reacclimated with them and stuff and i had a, I had a fair amount of like early 80s stuff because i think i started collecting in the later 80s maybe and would kind of trade back so i have like a i don't know if like ozzy smith rookie and a couple other players like that so um yeah it was fun to sort of see who was around somebody i, I forgot who it was i think it was at work and they were um no there uh, was one of my friends who said i was telling them that we were doing kind of starting to get into cards again he Kind of went back through. He had like this list of the um, best '80s baseball player cards or something. Uh, that was kind of fun to collect. And one of the ones that we I think we we opened or maybe we haven't opened yet was a Tony Gwynn year, that rookie year with Sandberg and uh, yeah. <laughs> we did. We'll tell the chat we did open those packs, Andy. You remember we, we opened those packs? Got 15 minute recording. We opened the packs. <laughs> yeah, we, we, look up, we look up. We weren't recording. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, what a, what it's a smooth, smooth. smooth one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we had to buy some more of them. We didn't hit, we didn't um, hit the win or anything anyway. But all right, uh, okay, let's yeah. let's kick this thing off. Um, yeah, eighty-three so thousand mark. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a bummer, but that's all good. Oh, at least actually, we. At least we, we have the, speaking of that, we have the wrong background. We fix that. We have our <laughs> rip battle background going on. Wow! Too. Wow! Yeah, get wow. it together here. Me, yeah, you have to. I said we. I said we. Oh, we. Okay. Um, okay. So, first, I want to want to ask you a question. What is your what was your criteria? Was you were you doing the best or the like the coolest or the ones that, like iconic? Like, I want to know what was your thought process going into this, so we can kind of. Uh, I mean, way. all of the above, really. No rhyme or reason, just what I like. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, I mean, some of these some of these jerseys are like. I mean. Like as you like to say, the chalk picks, right? Like the ones yeah. that are like, you know, I, maybe I won't say it yet, but like there's some teams that are like, you know, I, it's iconic forever, and I, I didn't yeah. really put those on my list, so I didn't either. Maybe, I didn't okay, either. I, I, yeah, a lot of the ones that I, I do like change, I like change, you know, at least in in terms of uniforms. I don't want the same uniform for a hundred years. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> Tigers start off four now, man. They're crazy. Oh, they're, they're, I didn't even pay attention to them. Yeah. They're uh, oh, yeah. doing really well. Um, okay. This is a little tough. There's a lot of really good ones out there. I'm going to go with one that, again, my my picks are really not based off of, uh, I guess, iconic. They're not really – they're iconic, but they're not like ones that have been with the team forever. They're really kind of shot – blast from the past, but like really kind of quick – Quick jersey things. They didn't have them forever. But anyway, my first pick is going to be the Montreal Expos uh, Baby Blue. Um, yeah. It's yeah. one of the coolest ones, um, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll, let me see if I can um, post a picture of. Uh, That's like eight, 1980s, right? 1980s, like powder blue Montreal Expos. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> wow, this, is, this picture is not ideal. But um, let me share the screen on what I – no, thought of and you tell me if you see if you know who the player is too I, i'm sure you do but uh is that uh i don't know the player off the top of my head i'm trying to... i know it doesn't really look like him 
and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is who it was. Cause I think that's what that was labeled, but I, I don't um, recognize him, the face. But I, think it's, it's I, think it's, I think it's Andre Scalaraga actually. So not really. So young. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely got a little um, stouter later on. Yeah. Um, I love these uniforms. I was looking through them. Um, one of my things I will say, uh, I kind of had a lot of a certain type of Jersey, I would say on my list. Um, but this is yeah. my favorite of of that like baby blue uh, kind of jersey, I think. Yeah. Um, and I, I think more so because some of the baby blues are just kind of that. But then you have like a just an iconic logo. You have the pinstripes. You have the th tricolor hats and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. just so good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a strong pick. Uh, more. Uh, uh, and I agree. You could go powder blue, powder blue, powder blue in this draft and, and have some cool, cool jerseys. Yeah. But. All right. So that's my number one. Um, I think I know where you may go next. Where you? <laughs> I, I don't think you have. I don't think you do. Maybe you do. <laughs> I doubt it. I really doubt it. Uh, let me let me try to find my photo first because there's so many. Uh, I have so many tabs, but I'll I'll talk while I'm doing it. But mine is this was I think somewhat short lived uniform. I think it's like mid to late seventies, right to like early nineteen eighties. I don't think it lasted okay. too long. Too long in the nineteen eighties. We gotta check my uh, my stats here. Well, maybe it did go to mid eighties. All right, let me. Uh, but I'm gonna go with the Houston Astros with their like their sun uh, sunset jersey. They called it. Yeah. Uh, let me let me find my image though, because I have like late, yeah. I had it as late seventies. That was I was yeah. up in the air between those two, honestly. Yeah, That's it's such a funky funky jersey and hat too, and just the whole. Uh, that's yeah. sort of quintessential of the seventies too. Uh, and I've had some stuff. There it is. I got it here. Yeah, that's that's a strong pick. Um, I uh, that's a good one. I I have the yeah I have a picture of uh, Nolan Ryan in it, which he was. I, I that's what I remember. Obviously, honestly, is like Nolan Ryan in that jersey. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's definitely a cool jersey. Uh, I want to say they maybe have brought it back every once in a while. I mean, like they do in a lot of yeah. these retro jerseys. Yeah. But yeah, this is it's pretty cool. Um, I'm a little, I, I don't totally get why it's Houston based. I mean, like, I feel like maybe, uh, it would have been better of a kind of a, more of a sunset West coast team. I, I would have felt, but that is a very cool Jersey. I will say. I guess we'll just cause of the Astros that is the sun, right? I mean, is the, I mean, I don't know if it's, I didn't thought, of, yeah, I don't know. I, kind of, I mean, yeah, that's, and I actually had, I had a game use hat from this uniform and my buddy had the, the game use Jersey. So I, I sold him a hat. So he, he completed the pair. Very cool. But very cool. Uh, and that, that stuff does sell very well if you ever find that era. I have like, I think I might even have it at my store. One of the, it's like a retail jersey like that, not a gamer. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Good pick. I think we started, I think we both, I mean, I don't know if you would have gone Expos number two. I definitely would have gone Astros number two. Um, that would have been my second pick overall. Yeah, I, I would have taken Astros one, but I think there were, I, I, I like the Expos jersey for sure. Let me, uh, let me put this jersey in here. Astros. Yeah, two strong picks. Uh, I think where Keith is going to lose people is he'll probably break out a 1912 uh, Senators like, you know, <laughs> it was only play one one for one season or something like that. So I, I do have some I do have something <laughs> out of my list. We'll see if it makes, makes I the it. list. I can tell. I can tell. Um, All right. <laughs> Let's get to the, uh, the segments. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we could. I think you could do this for all uh, all sports teams. I mean, maybe the football's a little, eh, a little tougher. Me helmets, say. probably right. I had to go helmets. Helmets, so. helmets you could do probably, yeah. Um, but basketball jerseys, yeah, you could. They've gotten really funky too. I feel like yeah. recently, and there's some awesome hockey ones too. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right, let me hit this guy. Sale of the week. All right, so in this segment, obviously our chat under, knows what we do here, but we show each other our sales of the week and then have each other guess our selling prices. We want to get within 10% of each other. We have the chat to guess along as well. The third item that we show, my second item, we're going to do a giveaway for the throwback. Dropped it. <laughs> throwback Boston Braves pennant. So we'll show you that again later. Yeah, Chris, I, I mean, honestly <laughs> – Probably what some people think is the worst. I love the most. 
I mean, I, yeah. I, I don't know if you saw this on some of these jerseys. Sorry, I didn't mean to hijack this, but no, no, um, cool. But uh, some of the jerseys were on both like the best and worst lists, and like were tops. And number one, like Astros probably was on the some people hate it and some people love it, but um, I think more people love it than hate it, probably. But anyway, all right, so what do you got for me? Yeah, let me uh, share my screen there. I should have been doing that while you were talking. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> twiddling my thumbs over here. Yes. I don't know how I work with this guy, honestly. All right. I showed you this piece like maybe a month ago in the finds of the week. I don't know if you remember this. Let's mm. see how good your memory is. Uh, but Eagles program, 1960, Eagles versus Giants. Do you remember the significance when we talked about it last? I. Yeah, it was a. What, what was the year again? 1960. 1960. I can't remember now. <laughs> man, man. I you know how much I don't listen to you, so well, don't on. be surprised. Well, this will this will jog your memory. Oh, okay, yeah. Bidnaric. So this is the game of the famous Chuck Bidnarik hit where he knocked Frank Gifford <laughs> unconscious, basically sealed the uh the NFC or the playoffs for the Eagles, and they would go on to win the championship that year. That's why I'm wearing the uh Chuck Bidnarik jersey right there. There you go. But um all right, so that, yeah, that jersey sold. Let me get back to that thumbnail. So, any, yeah, uh, and, and the chat, what do you guys think that sold for? Hmm. Yeah, I'd be interested. Uh, these are tough. I feel like, uh, I feel I like, will say, I will say, what, I'll interrupt you for a second. There, this is not like an exceedingly rare program, right? To help you out a little bit. I mean, they, they do show up, but it's a quintessential game, right? People love to buy it for that reason, but it's not like it's, it's a 1933 one, one of a kind. Yeah yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think Dan, I like Dan and Chris, actually. I think there is probably somewhere in the middle of the, that, I would guess. But um, yes, yeah, so we have a 60 from Chris, 49.99 from Dan. I think it's a, it's a program, that. Roman. Yeah, it's a program. 69.99 for Mark, 60 for Roman. And this is not for the uh, one yet, or is it? I'm sorry. Is this for the pennant? No, no. The next, my next item, the third item overall. Okay, just want to double check. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I think. I mean, everybody's really in the same spot, right? Everybody. It's from forty-five yeah, to yeah, seventy, right. really. So it's a small window, which I kind of agree with. I think everybody's. I don't know. Everybody's getting good at picking these days. I, although we could be one hundred percent wrong on this too, but I'm gonna say. I'm going to say maybe a little on the higher end just because of the significance of the game. So I'm going to lean towards a little higher and say $59.99 is my guess. All right, $59.99. So <laughs> let me show Andy what he got here. <laughs> the karate, I'll kick your ass. Damn, okay. No. We, were, we were all wrong, people. We I mean, you were, the guys were in the ballpark. You guys are in the ballpark, but I mean, uh, okay, was, okay. But yeah, not not. That's why I said it's not a super rare program, but you know, you can yeah. If you find this program, you can probably. I bought this program on a lot on eBay for like ninety dollars or like fifteen programs. Oh, okay. And, I, and this guy paid for the for the lot, but I sold a bunch of the other ones already. But that's cool. so you can find this program cheap, and if knowing what game it is, it'll sell for more. A good point. Good true. Um, all right. I'm over one. That's fine. I'll, I'll yeah. come back. No problem. No, uh, no. <laughs> all right. Let's go with mine. Um, I'm going to stop sharing screen. I guess you don't have to. Do you have to stop sharing screen? I guess I'm going to stay. Oh, oh I, yeah. I guess I should. I, I don't know. If, I can't work with this guy. It's horrible. Sorry. I just got a, a Roman uh, notification from YouTube. He <laughs> put out a short. <laughs> all right. Ah, that's a cool one. Clint. Yeah. Pilot. Little tiger piloting a boat. Is it a tiger? It is. Yeah, that's a um it's a minor leaguer from uh Detroit. So it's a Detroit Detroit, Detroit affiliate. At least it was. I'm not sure it still is, but where's uh, uh Clinton? Um uh, don't know. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what it was. <laughs> you put me on the spot like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up right now. So I would, I'm okay. curious. Curious mind. I want to educate everyone here in Iowa. 
Clinton, Iowa. There you go. Yeah, Iowa, of course. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Or, or maybe it's Indiana, what? Chris says. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just Everybody. don't know my, my state abbreviations. Yeah. Uh, I, there were I a few. I thought Iowa was Iowa, isn't it? Or it's not? Why are you putting me on the spot? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Again? My state stuff, yeah. <laughs> wow, when you go up like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to find that out. When you Google know, that, why, why don't you Google that while you were there? <laughs> I, I would, they said. Okay. okay. I, yeah. Okay. Woo. All, All right. right. So what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah so it's, it's a cool one. I mean, Tigers is not a strong seller, I would think. I mean, I, <laughs> uh, but it's a cool one. You got a cool color. You got a tiger on a boat. I mean, everybody loves that kind of, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And there's some, I like the guesses. I like the guesses in the chat. I'm going to be probably pretty close to Mark, I think, on it. Um, I'm going to go 69.99. Okay. 6999. We got 42. Le Hill, uh, <laughs> got to be pretty close though. We have uh, Pittsburgh fan at 33, Roman at 50, Dan at 69.99. Bingo. <laughs> All right, man, Roman nailed it. I know. Is that, right is on, that the- on. Yeah. See, right. Roman, you, Roman, you're becoming a Tiger uh, and Lions fan, so I can tell right now. So you might as well just, you know, give push all your chips in the center and, and join our team. So, uh, <laughs> but I will say it was up for seventy four ninety nine, and then I took got an offer of fifty, so I took it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> probably nailed something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. I guess that doesn't really, <laughs> that doesn't really work. It works a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Um, All right, well, that's, that's not a bad sale. Yeah, that's the kind of one that minor league pennants are tough uh, to us. Yeah, they're all over the place, and like I'm all again, like as we were talking about, it's not it's not an eight hundred dollar pennant, so we're just trying to move it, <laughs> move yeah. it, and keep going. So, all right, this one is for the giveaway. So okay. show this. Maybe I should. I mean, I don't actually. I shouldn't taint the oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Why are you what is that? Did you accidentally hit something? No, it was, no. <laughs> it was accidentally. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is for the giveaway. So again, closest person closest in the chat gets the throwback Boston Braves full size pennant there. Look, all right, boys. This is uh and girls, maybe, and another could be. <laughs> I'm sure you, we're we're trending, not trending that way, but <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. Is 88. Anyway, I'll, talk, I'll one... talk myself through this. This t- looks like one of those funky ones. Is this a? I guess you give me the the manufacturer, please. Well, first, it's and, a starter starter brand. And can you can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> this is a starter brand hat, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a starter brand shockwave model like hat. You, country of origin. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's U.S. or not. To be honest. Okay. I, I, uh, but what we'll say it doesn't really affect the value, but this hat, this model hat was only made with a Velcro back. Doesn't doesn't come in a snap back. Sometimes people like put a snap in them instead of the Velcro. Yeah. But uh look so. at these these guys. I feel like these guys are sniffing you out, man. They are <laughs> they are learning and learning your methods and your ways. Yeah, this hat did have a little flaw though, too. So if people want to change their it, it I think this this hat was originally owned by a pinhead cowboy fan because <laughs> the person had taken the velcro strap and i guess it was even if they put it all the way too small it was too still too big so they took the velcro and glued it oh to God. the si- other side of the, the strap so it had like a little glue residue on it i removed most of it there was still some there so it doesn't really detract too much from the hat but i sh- wanted to disclose that potentially could have been a child too and not a pinhead is that <laughs> <laughs> I well, I'm not, not going to take a. I'm not going to not give myself the opportunity to ridicule a Cowboys fan. Uh, I see. I see. Yeah. Sounds like Cowboys. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's uh, everybody have a guess in. I don't want to. Um... 88. Yeah. If anyone wants to change because of that new information, <laughs> now's your time. But yeah. Pittsburgh fan at 88. Dan, Ooh. 145. Mark at 149.99. <laughs> Roman, 129. Pressure's on, Dan. 
I don't know, Dan. I don't hate your guess. Although Mark kind of kind of uh, gave you a small window to win in, though. 89, 89 from Chris. Chris <laughs> did change to 89. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I do think this is one of those specialty hats that people probably are on the lookout for. It's starter, so it's not like one of the – I guess it's a good brand, but I don't think it's that premier um, brand that – What's what's the one that like the shark one and stuff? It's not new era. Um, Logo athletic and sports Logo. specialties, which is this hat. That, that's okay. a good one too. But so I don't think it's. I think those are the two most coveted. I and Keith will tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure, but um, so I don't think it's uh, it's going to be as high as as one of those. So it looks similar to those like shark things and stuff. And maybe this is their attempt to to dabble in that thing and try to produce something like that. Um, Starter had made some like very uh, funky styles. Uh, we have, oh, real life coming in seventy nine dollars. Okay. Yeah, okay. So Starter made some very interesting hats, uh, in a, similar to the Shark Tooth. Um, in real life, uh, against my better judgment, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Roman's guess. I'm gonna go one twenty nine ninety nine, and I I am not feeling good about that. That I am agreeing with Roman. <laughs> <laughs> this scares me. <laughs> I'm not feeling good, but uh, I think he's I think he's on the money. I think he's I think he may have nailed it. Um, All right. Well, let's let you know. Let me give the chat a second to make sure. So we had seventy nine was the last guess there. <laughs> let me uh, I'll give an answer here for Andy. I don't like this. I don't like these. <laughs> Little roller up along first, behind the back. Oh boy, he it. You bucked it. <laughs> All right, let me find the answer. It's gonna, it's gonna annoy me that how much you sold it for, isn't it? No, no. No, oh, okay, okay. Well, so, how was, I, how did I do on the actual talking through it? I was, was I somewhat pretty accurate? Good. I mean, starter. These hats are probably. I mean, the flaw hurt a little bit. These hats are probably like a hundred dollar hat, maybe a little bit under. Uh, okay. But I had a very – by the way, I think it was real life. Real life came Yeah, out real life came through with a, a yeah. little snipe at the end. I like oh, it. You might, <laughs> yes, real life. You got the uh, you got the Boston Braves pennant. We'll get that out in the mail to you. Very that cool. That comes to you. Um, it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, Andy, I had a very – this was – I think I told you about this, this negotiation with this person. This person, uh, which is not surprising for a Cowboys fan. Maybe he's not a Cowboys fan. <laughs> But and actually, I, I think maybe uh, real life's Cowboys fan too. So I <laughs> nothing against Cowboys fans. But uh, this person like sent me offers on a bunch of different hats. And it's always like an offer on Etsy. You don't really even get offers on Etsy. But it's like seventy five dollars immediately immediate payment, bro. I'm like, oh well, yeah, yeah. Right? Tell me about right? this. So yeah. like he did this for so many hats, and they're low ball offers on everything. I'm like, nah, I'll pass. I'm like, Etsy, you got to pay immediately anyway. There's no like buying it and paying three days later, like eBay sometimes. Yeah. So finally he came up with an offer that was reasonable that I was going to accept. And I'm always happy to get cowboy stuff out of my house. <laughs> so I accepted his offer. And I'm like, I'll change your, I'll change the price right now for you. And he's like, Oh no, no, don't change it now. I need a day to get money in the bank. I'm like, how's that immediate payment, bro? <laughs> right. So I'm so annoyed. I like said, forget it. I'm moving on. I'm not dealing with you at all. But he sent me like, 50 messages after that saying it was it was for his brother's birthday or something so i finally changed it this sounds but, like uh, a this sounds like a nightmare waiting to happen yeah yeah i'm sure he's probably not gonna like what he gets even though i disclosed the velcro yeah yeah so, um cool yeah. yeah that's good okay i was i should have i was that's not, it's not a reasonable you. guess i i've i've sold some of those model hats for your price the eagles one i sold before and i have yeah. an eagles one but yeah all right all right, let's get back right. to it. Jersey number two for you. Okay. There's still some, uh, obviously, we took, I think, two maybe of the more popular ones, but there's several uh, bangers out there still, I think. There are. There are. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go one that's, this is actually more about the hat than the jersey. Mm, I think I'm I know gonna, where you're going. I'm going to go 1970s. That's like seems like a great era for uniforms, right? I think it was. It was. I would pick uniforms that fall in that time frame. But I'm gonna go to like the mid to late seventies, early eighties, Pittsburgh Pirates. Pillbox, yeah. Pillbox, striped hat, uh, 
they just said black and yellow is a cool color combination for a uniform anyway. But I'm going to go with the, uh, let me. Uh, yeah, it's a strong, strong pick. Uh, it's definitely bizarre, obviously. Um, one of the and some most... other teams did it too. I know that the Phillies wore pillbox briefly. The uh... <laughs> oh, geez, now you're pandering to the you're pandering to the audience. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's a pretty yeah. sharp sharp uniform there. Is that Dave Parker? I think what it is. is I, I didn't even look at my images. I just quick. I think it's. It's not. Yeah, I think it is Parker. Right, Pittsburgh fan will tell us. Look at that! Look at that pull from out of nowhere. If you're Still right. Got... Still got it, baby. <laughs> I want to put yeah. two of them up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put two photos up because uh, they're funny. First of all, it, it, this just like is the prototypical 70s like thing, I feel like. When you think of 70s baseball. Um, <laughs> first of all, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> smoking in the dugout. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And then, remember this guy? The Kent to Colby? <laughs> yeah, it is. He's yeah. got a big old yeah. chew in his mouth. Yeah, the uh, sidewinder. Yeah, he played for the Phillies for a while. He did, too. yeah. I did. I remember that. Um, okay. All right, good picks. I mean, that was kind of the – honestly, that's that's a kind of bit of a chalk pick, to be honest. So. <laughs> oh, come on. It is. I got, I got some stuff to right there. I mean, that's – yeah, I – I why well, that's why I chose it for the hat, even though black and yellow. That's a cool, you know, cool. And that's obviously Pittsburgh. It's all black and yellow. But yeah, yeah, okay. Um, where to go? Where to go? Okay. I don't know if you would take this. Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't. Um, I love this uniform. And I think it, when I think about this uniform, there's just like one player that I always that really comes to mind for me. Uh, that's the. Um, it's, I think it's the late 80s. I'm not sure. Maybe even late 70s. Or sorry, early 80s, late, maybe late 70s. It's the White Sox with the um, box middle there. I don't even know what you call it. Block lettering. Yeah. But it's super. I, I love that. Just the, the look of it. Um, and it's like one of the, it's really, there's not other uniforms that I've seen that at least have done it like this or done it that well. That's, that's not even who I'm thinking of, but it's Carlton Fisk who's what. Yeah. Who I, I thought you were when well, you said White Sox, I thought you were going with the uh White Sox. Same I think they have the same jersey, but with the one where they wore shorts. Which oh, is no. the most hideous uniform. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, like such a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, but I think but, it was the same jersey. I think they wore this jersey with that too. I could be wrong. They may have. They may have. But I love this yeah. jersey. This is uh it's kind of a cool look. Um I don't know why they don't bring something back like that. I think uh do they? Okay, I wasn't sure about that, Dan. I know that some a lot of these, you know, jerseys that we're picking and stuff have these have had this revival of like, because now I think it's just they want to sell more merchandise, obviously, and just kind of, um, you know, so they're they're throwing these jerseys up all the time yeah. now. Um, I will say the Chicago White Sox probably have some of the cooler jerseys over the years. Like the, a lot of like like the Cubs were like the Cubs don't really change, right? At least there are some throwbacks, but. Yeah, and they changed early on, but th their uniforms have been pretty status quo for a long time. Yeah, but it seems like the White Sox changed a lot over the years. So there's a fair amount of movement, yeah, and a couple, yeah. a couple of these teams, yeah. All right, all right. So, Let me uh, get back to a segment here. There's a, I don't know if I, I didn't have that one on my list. I must say, but it's a cool, cool uniform. I think we're yeah. we're sticking to that John, that era though for sure. It's hard not to to beat that, and that's it's yeah. a really good, really good era for jerseys. Yeah. Um. All right, here we go. Unboxing of collection builds. <laughs> so, yeah, let, we started this last week. We've been delving into collecting cards a little bit more, and I, Dan made, me, made fun of me last time for bringing it up that I collect the Eagle stuff because I probably said it every every week of the podcast. But Wait, you do? I didn't know that. No, <laughs> uh, but I do. I don't really collect cards. I have some cards, and actually, I only have like other than what I showed last week the diamond matchbooks and those coins, which are not cards. I think I only have like five cards in my collection, and these two are in there. Uh, these are, uh, I think these are 51 Bowman. I Mark will tell me, but Chuck McNarrick and a uh, Steve Van Buren, these are both signed, and my dad had these signed. That's cool. A long time ago. Let me show you this. 
So I had this uh, 48 championship game program, right? That's signed by a bunch of players. And my dad had, you can see this, Andy. My dad was, <laughs> oh, was with, with Ben Eric. Ben Eric's the behind the desk. You can't not gonna see him that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, he's looking at this program. He didn't sign it because he wasn't in this game, but he signed the card in this in this uh when he was with him. So because of that, I started collecting two things. Last week I showed that I was collecting the uh 35 National Chickle Eagles. There's only four players in that set for the Eagles, but also I decided I'm gonna try to build the whole Bitneric sign like I don't know what you call it, database of cards. I don't know what you call that, a run of cards. So you're just trying to get a card from every uh type or something or yeah every year for Beneric. Okay. But that he played. By, but signed by Beneric. That's so tough. It's, it's, it's not yeah, it's not easy, but yeah, I like to set difficult goals, right? Yeah, no, I got you. That so makes sense. I do have I do have a package here that I'll open, but you can go you can go first, Danny. You want me to go first with mine? Okay. Yeah. All right. So mine's a little different. Uh I again we're just, this is kind of a card thing for us right now, I guess, because we're that's what we're into, <laughs> but uh, a little bit at least. Um I don't know. Thank you. You're you're an absolute jerk for putting me onto whatnot because that's like taking over my life for a little bit. <laughs> I have yeah, to yeah. like pull back. It's really bad. Oh, man. I, yeah, I get like ten packages a day from whatnot. I think. Oh, I know. It's hard. I, mean, I, mean, I cut back a little bit for a while. There it was. I can't. I, I, I got to. Yeah. I got to slow down. Yeah. So anyway, um, last Friday, I guess it was that I joined a whatnot. So this is a, most of what I'm collecting. I'm, I'm going to show you something cool, but this is not something I'm really going to collect or hold on to most likely. Um, so what I've been doing is getting a lot of these breaks and stuff like that. And, you know, joining, you know, 20 bucks a team, 30 bucks a team or something like that. And then they, if you don't know, then they break or open high end boxes and sometimes lower end stuff as well. But anyway, I joined, I usually try to get the lions. They have a lot of great, you know, players in 2023 that you can collect. Um, but this time I also, jo I also joined one and I picked the Ravens as a team. Uh, so what happened is uh, this was like the last pick of the th or last uh, card that he opened and I'll show it here. I'm not sure if people can tell what this is, but it's a, it's a, it's actually a booklet. So it's really thick. Um, and I'll open it up. It's uh, it's a 2023 draft day booklet which they do for not every player but i think maybe half or more of the um you know the draft class so but it's uh it's pretty cool it's a signed zay flowers with a really nice that's too bad my camera's not doing well it's but okay it's, now yeah signed zay flowers with like a really cool this is a whoops this is a jersey obviously um so anyway yeah, cool yeah, uh, that's what I got, and um, I'm hoping I can trade it in for. Uh, yeah, it was crazy because like the guy, I, I I saved a clip of it on whatnot, and the, I think I sent it to you, Keith, right? I saw, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he was losing his mind because he's like, I never pulled one of these before. It's like it's one of like 35, I think. So it's not super super rare, but um, it's pretty good. So the, and then the plan is maybe to, we're we're going to the Chantilly card show on on. Saturday. The plan is yeah. maybe to trade it for like a killer lion's piece, maybe. We'll, we'll see, right? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, they make similar ones. Aiden Hutchinson made one for the of the. It's, it's not as not as expensive as this one is right now. I don't think, mm -hmm. but maybe it's just because it's new. Um, yeah. I'm hoping Zay Flowers will sell better, um, just because of the proximity. But anyway, yeah, I'm sure it will be in Maryland. Let me uh, see what I got here. Yeah, I was. I really like that that patch. It's like three, three or almost three colors on that. So those are kind of a little more rare, I think. Um, so yeah, I was I was super stoked when that happened. Um, but yeah, I got to stop. I've been way too into it. Uh, I am still really just kind of poaching uh, Detroit Lions players for the most part of uh, higher end stuff. So this guy, this thing is packed securely over here. I'm just trying to open it. <laughs> oh, you you open it? Oh yeah. yeah. Open I, it. I open it. Yeah, I just open it here. All right. So here's my where'd guy. you get this from again? This is eBay. Okay. Very cool. This is a this is a 1955 Bowman. It is it is great at PSA, but 55 Bowman signed but never kind of bottom. I was trying to buy them that had like more of a vintage, like you know, ballpoint pen signature as compared to like a giant Sharpie. I mean obviously he's not alive anymore, but um but yeah, definitely nice color on that guy. So yeah, that's why well, I don't know how many how many 
Bit cards been Arcaz. I didn't even look into that yet, but I'm assuming it's probably like <laughs> it's gonna be tough. You're gonna be like, oh, geez, I gotta probably like 17 cards. He played a long time, like 49 leaf, maybe to 65, well, 66. At least you're not so, trying to c collect all of you know a recent player, man. There's like there's literally probably a thousand different cards for every player. And oh yeah, you mean modern players? Yeah, yeah. And to yeah. be honest, there's some newer players of cards of Benaric too. Not like now he's he's passed yeah, away, yeah. but. I mean, he did have some cards in the 90s that are signed. Yeah. So. Cool. All right. Nice start. I was actually looking at a Joe Schmidt um, one what that did, was in. Was did, you type, did you type that in the chat? I did, yeah. Okay, it threw me off because it, it says my <laughs> name. I thought it would come up as your name on there. Yeah, I was just responding to, to Dan okay. when you were okay. talking. Like, did I type yeah, that or am I like the Twilight Zone? <laughs> All right, so that's one of 16 or 17 or whatever. We'll figure it out next. next All right. Time. All right. Yeah. You're going to have to fill out your team of Bednarics. And maybe I'll have that on the shelf behind me eventually instead of the uh, my merchandise. Yeah. All right. Back to the draft board. Okay, so, so I'm on the wraparound. Um, where am I going next is a good question. Um, that's where we are so far. Expos, Astros, Pirates, White Sox there. Okay. Hmm. All right. God, I don't I feel like I'm gonna go hit the same era again, honestly. It's just there's too much good stuff there. Uh you know, I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna change my strategy a little bit. I'm gonna go off the a little bit. Uh not strategy, I'm gonna change my era a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with a Jersey, which I don't, I, I guess I didn't really love, I guess when they, maybe it was my favorite for sure when they first came out, but I think I've like grown to really like them a lot more as I look back now. And that's the Florida Marlins teal from like 93 to 95. You familiar yeah, with that? I um, like that one. Yeah. Gary Sheffield era. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say like, uh, I mean, I'll put up a picture of one. They did have the all teal jerseys, but they also had the white with the teal, which I almost like better. Um, yeah, with the this black sleeves or the. Here, I know what I'm you're talking you. about. Yeah, I think this is a. I don't know if this is an actual jersey of it because. Uh, this is. But that's essentially the coloring. This is not the one because I think that the Mar the one that I really want is the the one that has the Marlin on the front too. Um, yeah, I couldn't find. I don't know why I, I was having trouble finding that one. But you know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, Absolutely, yeah. That was on my list. That's a cool. Yeah, okay. teal. The teal color is a cool one. Um. Yeah, I like that one. I, I it was. It's a little bit. I needed to spread my <laughs> spread my team out a little bit. I feel like I didn't want to be too 70s centric. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, anyway. I'm surprised that's on your list because I'm surprised your list is uh, working up. You know, it's not it's not as in, as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Dan. They were kind of just they just had a cool vibe to them. I don't. I kind of appreciate the teams that had like used colors almost for the first time type of thing. There weren't common colors. Um, you know, you had the reds and the blues and all that stuff. I mean. Detroit and Yankees, you know, all those teams really had very similar jerseys if you think about it. But um, well, anyway, I still I still have a teal jersey that I wore almost daily back in like 1990. <laughs> really? uh, was know, it I, a Mariners? No, it was a hockey jersey, the San Jose Sharks. Oh, I, I, I still wore that jersey. That, yeah. I still yeah. wore that jersey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Well, as you tease in the intro here, I'm going to go back in time a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I do skew sort of older with some of the picks. But I'm going to go back, way back to 1908. Oh, 1908, geez. When you had the first year of the the name of the Red Sox, Boston Red Sox. And this is one of the coolest jerseys. I think they've probably worn this in throwbacks as well. But let me pull this guy up. So, you know, this is a – this Is, just is it in color? <laughs> yeah, color. Oh, look at this jersey! Look at that with the red sewn-on sock. With I mean, Boston. You got it's a lace-up jersey. This is Cy Young's game or jersey, by the way. But that's a uh, that's a pretty cool one. I guess. I mean, it kind of. I don't know. It's like a tunic. It looks like he's gonna like he's. 
in the Middle Ages. Like he's gonna, you know. Yeah, it's, come on. Oh, come on. I really love Stan over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool. That's a cool one, man. I mean, I'm right. What is, what is that? That's not even a jersey. It's like it's somebody like who did the wash and his sock got stuck to his shirt. But the only, <laughs> the only innovative that was when you had before that it was the Boston Americans with just B A on it. Now they come up with a the Boston Red Sox with a giant red sock on there. Mark likes it. Mark's a Boston guy. Um, yeah. Well, I I I respect the Boston jerseys. I'm just not in love with that. I mean, come on. Um, <laughs> it's uh, just yeah. I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's not like it's symmetrical. It's like awkward, really. It's for me. I I generally I'm a stickler for symmetry. I agree, but I this asymmetry works for me. It's like a weird foot too. I don't think. I think it's like a like a lady's foot almost. It has a very no, it, it's it's a small a, foot. <laughs> it's a small foot. It's a very more smaller back then. Apparently, um, yeah. All right. Hey. Uh, I, that was not on my list, shockingly, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> it's a pick. I don't know if it's a good pick, but <laughs> no. All right, well, you do you. I mean, that's all I can say to that. Uh, you like you like some weird stuff, but okay. Yeah, I do. You all will right, not yeah, be seeing any um, any jerseys with random uh, laundry on on the sh on the jersey for me. So, just as a heads up, I have plenty of that too. All right. Uh, Okay, I was just typing that there. Let's see. When the White Sox made the World Series 2005, let me pull that up bigger. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, you can do it. Yeah, make it yourself. It was a DIY a jersey. So good. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. All right. Let's get to this. Find of the week. All right. So this we delve into a piece we found in the past week or two weeks in Amy's case because he forgot to bring these to the last show. <laughs> All right. But he was up, up in a, he was up in the the Philly area digging through the warehouse that we you know have a lot we share a lot of inventory together and he found some cool stuff. So Andy, show us what you found last week, two weeks ago. All right. Well, this is Keith's favorite find. He was so happy, excited when he saw this. So, oh, this, these things are cool. So the first thing is this. Uh -oh. it's, like, it's moving. It's a little creepy. All right. It's actually, I don't know if you can tell, it's a wind-up toy that has. <laughs> it is not showing up well at all. <laughs> well, I can't help it, okay? There we go. <laughs> it's so creepy. It's like a buck tooth Let me see if that, wind up not... corn cob toy. <laughs> oh, why? It's so there. bad. Okay. Well, you kind of get the picture, right? It's a little wind-up toy. Probably from the 50s, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I think so. That's what we had listed. Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Got it, looks, it actually looks like you. Not, not the teeth. I'm not get out of here. Corn, corny is his name, apparently. Um, so I saw, found that. I think we have that up for 50, maybe? Um, and then this other one we got. I'll just put this in front of my face. It is called a... <laughs> Pe okay. Walking peanut, so it comes in, you know, comes with a box in the box. <laughs> you just love these things. It's creepy. This is awesome. He, I love this guy. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what why. That, it's because of the shape. It's because of the shape, right? <laughs> That's why you like it. No. What? <laughs> it looks like something bad. Like <laughs> it's a peanut. It's, it's a freaking peanut. <laughs> is that what you said? Okay. Um, yeah, so both of these are little wind-up toys that we found there. I think both of them are going to, hopefully, Keith thinks they're going to be a pretty, pretty price. We'll see if that. If yeah, they they're very desirable, I think. But, Andy, oh. those would be perfect for, if you watch, I don't think you watch another, the, the, the quintessential reselling podcast, the Trash to Cash podcast. I don't know if I, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, showed, I showed it to you before. But they, a couple, two weeks ago, they were discussing this guy in an antique shop, and I think I might have told you about it, an antique shop who was, they found the guy who was wearing a kilt okay. walking around an antique shop and he was like acting odd. He was like crouching and doing weird things. And they, they caught him on camera keistering items. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and they eventually arrested him. And I don't know if he was found guilty or what happened. But yeah, he was keistering him. But those things, <laughs> thankfully, we didn't have them in the antique <laughs> shop because they're like the perfect 
item for that dude, that kilt, the kilt bandit over there. Hey, Dad, that was his nickname in high school, Keister. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. couldn't keep stuff out of there. He was like, Get the hell out of here. Come on now, that's not right. <laughs> oh, he's hot. Oh, he's hiding stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he spotted your black gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, <you> know. <laughs> Andy, I was telling, or no, Dan, I was telling Andy, you were using, I think it was uh, Joe was <laughs> accusing you of having some high school nicknames on your podcast. And, and you really, you uh, revealed, you presented, you revealed your high school nickname was Fester, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I had to might have to start busting that out if there's any more crotch strap. Oh, crotch strap talk. Where did you put it up? Dan, right. Dan and I are working together like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, right you guys now, are. Yeah, it's like a, you guys must rehearse this. I don't know. We're we have the same uh, humor and sensibility, apparently. So, and, and, and Kelly was watching what, Dan's whatnot last night when you came in and said something about crotch strap, and he then lit up. And <laughs> Kelly's like my wife. She's like. Dan likes Andy a lot more than you. I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, no, that's funny because we were watching it too. When we jumped in, I just caught the tail end of it. But yeah. Um, but my girlfriend was like, is that or I, I don't think that she knew that was you. He's like, he's so animated and he's so excited about everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a very very fun. Yeah, I know. Very yeah. fun, very fun one to watch. All right, what do you got? All right, so yeah, my final week, Andy, I think I asked you this before, but you know who has the most home runs in baseball history? Not MLB, yeah. just in general, baseball history. Oh, yeah, yeah, you told me, so I don't want to um, yeah. steal it. But, Anybody yeah. know, like, the most 868 home runs? I'm sure Mark knows, but who had the most home runs in, in all-time history? Not not Major League Baseball, but in general. In professional baseball, but Professional not. baseball, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, that's smart. But – this is, I'll show you, this is who it is. This is a pennant. I've never seen this pennant before. There we go. Oh, Sadahara O. Oh. So we have a, this is a, probably a 1960s pennant. It's still in its original, my, my mic is really messing me up presenting pennants here. <laughs> but it's original packaging. I've only seen one of these pennants before. There's one currently in Japan for sale on eBay, but not in the original packaging like this, not with the, the hang tag. So that's crazy. Yeah. yeah so that's a cool one. Yeah. You got that as part of a bundle, right? With other, I did, yeah, with a couple other, with one other pennant that I came with. But uh, so, yeah, the Japanese baseball stuff is a good seller. But I've sold some O stuff before, and it's uh, it's it sells well. So that go ahead, that guy up for like five ninety nine. I put it up for, I, but I'm running a sale in my shop, so it's a little bit less now. But yeah, cool. I expect they'll probably go internationally, but we'll see. Yeah, worth it though, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. And you don't pay shipping internationally, right? You're going to pay run it through eBay's uh, shipping. Yeah, it's through eBay. Yeah, yeah. so it goes yeah. to uh, is it early? Not early or anymore. But I forget where it goes. It was not not a great hitter. It was not that was not that was not no. special. It's not a strong baseball hitter, unfortunately. I, wish. I was more of a baseball player than Andy, I think. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Defensive All right, what do we got? Wizard. I was like the Ozzy Smith out there. I'm just getting back to the uh, draft board. <laughs> is it, it's you again, right? Oh, is it? Oh, no. man. Yeah, it is. Because I had the uh, 1908 White Sox, uh, Red Sox. Yeah. Mm. I, have to, I have to run it with my finger. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to powder blue. And I almost wore this jersey today, but I, I decided to go with the Benaric because I had a Benaric theme to a couple of the segments. But I'm going to go with it. this one, but. <laughs> yeah, I would have went in earlier, but I'm going to go with the powder blue Phillies. They wear it now still, but they wore it. They, they didn't wear it for a while, then they brought it back. They wore it, you know, late 70s, early 80s, the powder blue with the, the red stripes down the sleeves. The classic. It probably yeah, doesn't have much going on at the Expos, but. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely cool. Um, it's actually, I have a hat that, I mean, I don't have a lot of Philly stuff, but I have a, a powder blue hat, which I like a lot. Um, it's cool. Yeah, um, there's there's Mike Schmidt wearing it there. Yeah, I have some I have some cool one. This is a cool one picture, I think. Wait till you see this one. Um I like this one. It's Carl. Well that was Carl. our that was our thumbnail, Andy. What yeah, but it wasn't that actually, was it? That picture? It was, yeah. It was Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can see your 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 uh, Carlton um Schmidt in the thumbnail. 
I see. Yeah, do you? Man, you don't even pay attention. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. I'm sorry to say. Um, okay. Back to me. Uh, I'm concerned. I don't want to go too heavy in the powder blue, but there are a couple that I like. Um, okay. So the last two picks are mine, right? So I can have my choice of yeah. whatever I want well, to do. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to need to vary my colors. I need to make sure I'm not just going powder blue. Believe me, I think I had five teams that were powder blue. In fact, that was one of my mantras was to go, the, you know, baby blue wins. Oh, well, BBW. You, <laughs> but, oh, uh, you, ever, you never gave it. Yeah. It's a BBW, you know, you know, you know, okay. you know, I got you. I got you. Yeah. He gave me another acronym at the, at the, <laughs> in, at our pre pre-production meeting that I vetoed. Yeah. It's probably it's not gonna make, it was not going to make the air. <laughs> yeah. We have to do, you have to check check out the late night stream, which we of which we don't have for two. Yeah, do, we do that on whatnot. Uh, yeah. Okay. I am gonna go with the green and yellow 70s A's jerseys. Um I yeah. it's a different color pattern. It's wonk, you know, it's wacky, um, like the ones that I really like. Uh there's a I'm gonna put a picture up if I can find it. Um, but yeah, I love those. Um, I think they still, they're not as kind of wild as they were, but there are still elements obviously of, of their jerseys. Um, yeah. I feel like they're brighter than or something, right? They were. And... Yeah. Plus, I mean, the plus, whole, I think they... Good. No, I just think they, they did both of these styles, like the green. And then I think they have ones that are more yellow and then green. So but I kind of like this one, I think, was kind of the coolest. They, uh, yeah, it's not, I don't know what that green exactly is. It's not Kelly green, but it's kind of, it's kind of close to that. It's just kind of, a, and it also just has that 70s vibe, which, you know, I yeah. can't get away from, honestly. You know, another thing that we might be liking that 70s, all those 70s uniforms, the stirrups and socks it gave a uniform a much better look. Yeah, the A's had great stirrups, from what I recall. Yeah. Um, that the wasn't it yellow socks and green stirrups, right? Or is it yeah. vice versa? Yeah. Maybe they did. Now you just them. get the long pant. You don't get any of that. Rarely you get a player who wears that, but uh, you don't see it much anymore. Yeah, yeah, it, it's I liked it. I mean, it, it, they came in a variety, like you said, a variety of different um, kind of combinations, but they all work, I think. So. Um, Andy, just so I know, for the next segment, do you do you have something? Our uh, competition? Did you have an image? I can I can pull one up. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Let me get to the brand here. I think the true king of pennants will be crowned. For the king. All right, guys. So in this in this episode, this segment, we show each other. Or, we don't show each other anything. We do. <laughs> what are you showing me? I don't want you to show me anything. In this segment, we each pull a pen. Yeah, he's always trying out. to show me stuff, which is oh, kind of freaking me out. Come on now. Don't make me lose it like the Irish week. All right. So in this segment, we each pull a penny from our death pile. Don't comp it. Don't do any research. Try to guess what's going to sell better. I've been extremely unsuccessful at this segment. And Andy, <laughs> I don't true. know if you saw me on Instagram yesterday. I sold, I shipped like, 30 pennants yesterday. I shipped more than my that I posted over there. But none you've of them. Been, you've been quite listed. active, I will say. Yeah. None of them I listed at this segment. So I didn't sell any of my pennants from last week. Uh I did sell one. I sold um I didn't I don't have that picture. I'm putting I'm gonna show you the picture that I of the new No, you don't have to show that because we know you showed it last um, week. You sold what was it? The the one that I was mocking, the stagecoach. Yeah, the stagecoach sold for twenty dollars. So it was yeah. It's like California pennant. Um, yeah. But, uh, okay. Well, why don't you start off and tell me um, and take your time because I'm just uh, pulling up this picture. Yeah, I'll take my time. <laughs> I think my uh, my downfall in this segment is I've been – Oh, God. He's I, got he's got plans now. This is going to be fun. No, it's, it's not, not a plan. I, oh. Even now, it's still downfall because I did the same thing again. <laughs> but good. I'm going like high-end pennants, and I'm pricing yeah. them at high-end yeah. prices, right? And you can, you can that, that's a, that's like a, you sound like a reverse car salesman. <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got high end price cars with high end prices. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't it be high end? But we got high end, we got high end pennants with with low low prices. That's what you yeah. should be saying. It's true. It's true. But 
I'm saying that I don't necessarily, you know, they're not selling because I'm pricing them right. I'm pricing them at the top of the market. I sure. want to get top dollar or close to it. You, you're okay. throwing... You're throwing the scraps out there for 20 bucks. That's not small. true. Don't even think about that. What, what was the first pound I sold, buddy? Yeah, that my, was good The one. first pound I sold is going to outsell any of yours. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, it's sold. It, so. uh, it's it's out, sold all of them, but not. But here's here's mine, Andy. So we have a, this is a rare pennant. In fact, I've never even seen it before. Jersey City, Jersey Aces, professional hockey team. Mm. They're the NEHL, Northeastern Hockey League. Andy, do you know, speaking of powder blues, do you know who owned this team? The new, no, I don't. Well, should I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, you know the person, but you're not going to probably know he owned this. But he owned, or Mike Schmidt owned the Jersey. Oh, really? Aces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They were only, yeah. they were Cherry Hill, New Jersey, only there for like a year. Then they, they were doing terribly at a horrible stadium. They moved to Virginia. So this team only existed for one year in 1978. So cool. very rare. I priced it accordingly. I priced it at $249.99. Woo! So. Somebody thinks highly of themselves. Uh, I do. I do. <laughs> so we'll see. But uh, now what do you got? You got, you put a pen out for 10 bucks? No, get? I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to. There we go. Georgia to, Peach. Georgia Peach. Get out of here. Um, where is it? It's not pulling up. Where? Um, let me put this up, Andy. For the king! Because you did sell one last week. You did win. Oh, there you're we already, go. You already had the crown, but... Still there, yeah. baby. Still there. And I have my crown right next to me. I've yet to even show it on screen, and I won't until I win. That's right. Well, I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't because you you're horrible at this game. <laughs> no. Um, why is this okay? I'm trying to pull this up and Jimmy Hoffa. What I what I miss with the Jimmy Hoffa, Dan? What? I, I, mean, I don't know. Did you have a Jimmy Hoffa pennant? Um, okay, so the pennant I recently put up, just put up the New Haven Ninjas. Oh, put it up that's for, pretty cool. Uh, this is a. Um, AF2 or the Arena Football League version two. So um, the New Haven Ninjas, I saw a couple good comps out there. I think there were some that are over, you know, in the uh, low 50s. Um, so it's a great, it's a great pen at a great price. So um, there you that's go. That's, 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 yeah, how, that's how you sell a pen, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a sell to our chat here. I, I want the uh, big collectors out there to. But yeah, that's a cool one. I like it. I like it. Yeah. There's, yeah, these AF2 up. pennants, I think, um, actually do pretty well for some reason. There maybe must be a kind of a collecting bug or something for some people um, on these. I don't know. I think Hoffa was probably from North Jersey, New York area, right? Where was where Hoffa from, Andy? Yeah, because he was said he was buried at the Meadowlands. I think he's from yeah. Jersey. Maybe in New York, right? I don't know. Anyway, North, Jer North sure. Jersey. Yeah. All right, so we got the. What was it Beverly Hills Ninjas? <laughs> no, New Haven Ninjas, I think is who it okay. was. Okay. Yeah, okay. New, New Haven, Connecticut, I believe. And that, and that, you know, New Haven's a very uh, wealthy area, so that's yeah. that's a smart choice there. I like that. Cherry Hill's a nice area. Well, yeah. really, I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to help you get back in it, so I'm just throwing up anything these days, as you said. Uh, yeah. All right. I I just grabbed that this this afternoon too, so that's all right. I I didn't plan that well for this one, but well, next week I'm coming. Come up with something unique. Okay. Yeah, I doubt it, but good. Yeah, they do. They do, Dan. I think there's a lot of the cool cool ones in it. All right, Andy. You're back up in the draft. All right. Final pick, right? Is it, if I'm not right, you want to pull up the draft board just to yeah. go over real quick? I will. Um, hmm. I just don't think. I don't think... I should go back to the seventies as much as I really want to. Um, so I know, hmm. I know that I said that I, you know, didn't like some of the very kind of not basic, but like standard uniforms that are kind of, you know, classic, I guess. Um, but there is one uniform that I really do like, and I think I've always liked it. 
and it has not changed a whole lot. Um, but I will go with the LA Dodgers, um, white and blue with the red numbers. Um, I love that uniform. I know it's uh, probably a chalk pick, as you would like to say. No, no, no. Um, people do like it. I don't. I don't like it at all. But oh, I, really? It is, okay. Yeah, it is on a lot of people's list. I know. Uh, I always like that one. Uh, it's got this. I think the color of that blue is good. Maybe I'm just I'm picking all blue teams. They're not all, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's my that's my okay. one. My kind of. I guess iconic one. I think you can pick a lot of iconic ones, Yankees yeah. and all of them. So, yeah. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because I was going between an iconic pick or go back to a 1972 uniform. Or not, I'm sorry, not 1972, 1917. Oh, jeez. Uh, I mean, I think I think your uh, your laundry uniform did really well, so maybe you should go back. Yeah, to no, that. I do like the response to that one. But I'm going to go iconic. I'm going to mention my 1917 one in the honorable mentions. Okay. But I'm going to go iconic and I'm going to take like all this team's uniforms. Cause this team's uniform didn't change much <laughs> different color variations. I mean, eh, that like, sounds a little <laughs> suspect. No, no sus as the kids would say, any <laughs> sus, do you, do you say that, but so I'm going to go, <laughs> with... <laughs> go with the, the St. Louis Cardinals. The branch with the, with the cardinal bird on both sides. That was I was I was thinking those were the two I was thinking of for my iconic one. But and I say all of them because you have the white. You have the you can't. Blue. Yeah, but you can't have the baby blue one. That doesn't count. I'm just taking them all, bro. No, all. you can't take them all, bro. That's not how it works. <laughs> Fine, yeah. I'll all of the Florida Marlins. That's stupid. No, you got to take. Oh, which uh, one are you taking? Are you taking uh, the baby blues or are you taking the whites? I'm going the white. I'm going the okay. classic white. Classic white. I mean, that's probably the wrong choice, but that's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, because they wore that for – I mean, I think the powder blues were a newer incarnation, right? That was like maybe seven. No, they were in the – oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But, I mean, they wore the they wore the the white with the the cardinal on the tree branch from like the 40s. Sure. To the current, so. I got know. you. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's fine. I think that's good. That was, that was my other iconic one, I would say, that was on my list. Um, I don't have any others that are kind of in that genre, but uh, – <laughs> and, uh, what's happening in chatter? Like it, like it, Dan. I'll take I'll take votes however I can get them. Uh, what did he say? I'm on a different screen. <laughs> he said that he's not. He's and he's got my vote. Uh, no chance on voting for the Cardinals. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, same usual error. Wait, that's right. You got you got some. I, I agree. I honestly I do. It's a good it's a good uniform. Um, we got you got. I will say, Dan, you got to separate the uniform from the. From the team, I think a little bit in this case, um, but yeah, I know. I'm, I agree though. I, I couldn't choose like the Cowboys in one of these things, uh, but that's a classic uniform. Let me show this again. So this is our final, final draft board. Where'd it go? So Andy All had right. the. Expo powder blue, oh, the geez. White Sox striped. What? You should not be allowed to control the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to get rid First of, of all, the St. Louis Cardinals is just as boring, right? Yeah. Okay. You have Bert. It's like. Yeah, I love it. Andy, you remember when I was in high school? Can you make, what? You remember when I was in high school? I raised two baby Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember their names? It was like Itchy and Scratchy or something? Very close. Stinky and Fussy. Pinky. Fussy and Gussy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, two baby cardinals. And they stayed around for a long time after. Stinky and Pinky was your nickname in high school, right? <laughs> no. I don't know why I would have two different words, like Stinky and Pinky. <laughs> you know. Anyway, that is not that is not true. Let me okay. get rid of that. So, Andy, let's do a quick repeat of sales of the week, and then we'll do some honorable mentions. Do you have any more yeah. sales? Yeah, I can pull, I'll put one more up. Um, All right. Here we it's go. kind of an interesting one. Do you want to go now or do you want to go? <laughs> Sale of the week. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I can't work with him. He's <laughs> out of control. If anyone in the chat knows, I had a uh, corneal abrasion this week. I almost wore sunglasses tonight. It's feeling better, but my eye is killing me. So no. maybe it'll throw me off a little bit, Andy. But I think I I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Well, you know. Are you on drugs or anything or no? No, I'm not on drugs. Okay. No. I just want to make sure. No. Just want to make sure. 
okay. allergy medication. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I, All right. I, I didn't see the game. I was at work. I didn't see the Iowa LSU game. Did you watch it, Andy? I didn't watch the game that I watched parts of it. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I saw that they won, obviously. But um, she's a what's, what's her name? Uh, Caitlin's just uh, nasty. <laughs> she's just one of the probably arguably one of the best basketball players, I think, around right now, even male or female. She's so good. <clears throat> Andy, my first one here, I'm coming at you with a non-sports piece in total. So okay. just throw, you, throw something a little different at you. So do you remember these things growing up? Yeah, vaguely, yeah. Little handheld wow. like Andy. Tandy, <laughs> Tandy video games, Shark Island. This reminds me of one of my favorite video games ever, Andy. Do you remember the uh the game Shark 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 Shark? Shark Shark, <laughs> I, Shark, Shark was awesome. <clears throat> I don't remember that actually. What you'd actually do in that, uh, to be honest. You start as a small fish. You eat like other. You have to eat smaller fish. Yes, and yes, you, yes. You like you swim that. through the shark's tail to kill the shark. Uh, oh yeah, the, yeah. You have to go back and forth. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a great game. Great game. <laughs> but this is—I don't know what the hell this game is like. If it's a similar game, but Andy, I even did a fancy photo room backdrop and, and like a an underwater shark scene. Look at that. Look it's at impressive. that. Impressive. Yeah. yeah. So Hopefully you, people do think, don't think you can play it underwater. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do I think what it would go for? Sold for? Yeah, what do you think this guy sold for? You know, I know there's a there's a market out there for these old games. I don't think that this one is really what they're typically going after, per se, but um, yeah. Uh, I, my guess is that it's I think it's under 30 bucks. So I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say 24.99 would be my guess. 24.99. All right, I'll show you your answer in a second. But yeah, it, it, what was your, my first computer was a uh, Commodore 64. How about you, Andy? Uh yeah, mine was Commodore 64, I think, yeah. Okay. I think we eventually got to a Commodore 128 and then my dad was uh big into Max for the very early Age. I remember that. So, I remember that. Yeah, I uh, sold some he, early Max. Did your dad still have his Max? They're pretty good value. He's got a couple. He's got a couple, but yeah, yeah. I sold. A, I sold like three of them last year. <laughs> All right, so Dan's at a forty-nine, thirty-nine, ninety-nine for Mark. You were at four ninety-nine. I don't know. I don't know these handheld. I don't think these handheld games though go for as much. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. That would have been my guess, but. Just All right, let me think. let me let you know how you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me find the answer. Roman coming in with a $60. This maybe. Okay. Woo, so Mark, Mark. Mark, Mark even knows his handheld games there. Now Mark is Mark is a renaissance man, really. Yeah. Um, he knows everything. But yeah, these guys are definitely a bolo, though. I mean, this guy did work. I did buy a battery, test him out. Uh, but, yeah, they're definitely uh, – I mean, they're not $1,000. What did you, you, you buy it for? you remember? I mean, I bought it at a yard sale in one of my videos, and I paid like thirty dollars for like three boxes of stuff. So, oh, okay. I mean, probably a quarter. I don't even know. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> gotcha. to say. Yeah. Yeah, not a bad markup. Um, yeah. All right. That one. Let's see here. This one. So I'm still going pendant, but this is a little different. Ah, all right, oh. a little patriotic theme there. It is, and it's like also it. a different style pen. So it's got that little kind of, it's a, I don't know what the, what do we call it? A uh, excuse, excuse Vert, me, vertical fishtail. Yeah. Well, we didn't call it that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I like a fishtail pen. It's cool. I like it. And it's pretty small. It? Probably World War II era, I'm guessing. I don't, I think it's old. I think it's newer than that, honestly. I mean, I, felt, you can tell in person. I, I'm not, you're seeing it in person. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably World War II, to be honest. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, these pennants sell well. I mean, uh, especially when they're, like, somewhat generic. I've had a lot of patriotic pennants that are, like, specific to a specific yeah. – specific to a specific, uh, like, base or camp. Sure. Camp, like Camp Mead or whatever, Fort Mead. Fort Mead, uh, This yeah. one is, like, anyone could – anyone would like it, right? It's not, like, one one area might like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Small, very small, eight inches. 
I'm gonna go. It's not that small. It's not that small. It's small <laughs> in my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, Forty. Forty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> he lost 40, it again. Forty. Forty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> okay. Let me. Uh... Let me pull up. I only got it. things eight inches is small. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Great job. <laughs> well, I made it. <laughs> I do love that one. I think at least the uh, guy would have known she missed it. All right. Well, there was it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too was, bad, but. Yeah, that's not bad. It's, it was oh, up for a little while too, but uh, it was funny right. because some, they uh, they messaged me. It was like, can you, "Can you ship this to me immediately or as fast as you can? It's for a special event." I was like, "All right, I'll ship it tomorrow." But <laughs> like I always would. But yeah, interesting. Uh, I can see that selling more in like you know July fourth or something. But you know, true. Yeah, um, yeah. All so right, there you have it. One. Yeah, I got one more, and then we could, we're done with that segment. Let me find it. And you remember, I, told, I don't know if I told you in the podcast here or if I told it on this. This is a bittersweet story, but it's selling a reselling story. Remember, I told you the on I sold a pennant that the person wanted to use it at their mother's funeral who went to the college. Did I, I tell you know, that? Maybe. I don't know. I might have brought it up on. Okay. I might have brought it up on SSA, SSK Promos channel, Ken, where I did the pennant show with him. Hmm. That story did not end well because I he got the pennant. It, a day later, she came back to it. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. But he he opened a return. I think the the bastard hung it at the funeral and then returned it. I'm not sure <laughs> that's what happened. I'm not sure that's what. I'm not going to accuse him of that. <laughs> he returned yeah. the pennant. After He's the probably funeral. not in the right state of mind. Jeez, come on. Yeah, Keith. I'll 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 give the guy. I'm like, that was wrong to call him a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that like, ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. I I rushed it to him. Rushed it. I priority mail shipped it too. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do the guy a favor, but whatever. It'll sell <laughs> again. It was a good pet. All right. All right. Well, uh, this is this is the. I remember. Yeah, we're going yeah. back. Remember this guy, Happy Felton, not old gang. Yeah, this is. So I, I said a couple of things from this before, but this is a. Uh, this is a score, so the back this, of it. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, it would just be like a little thing. You're like roll the oh yeah, yeah yeah okay i remember i sort of remember these except i yeah you would have metal change. ones probably or yeah yeah plastic or whatever but <clears throat> um yeah his face on the front just creeps me out i'm not gonna lie he's just he's got bad intentions so this guy's doesn't it doesn't it give you weird vibes like yeah he's, it's king of the hill no yeah. he's a happy guy a extra, lips, i think a couple extra chins going on his lips are just weird well, I mean, it's yeah. I don't know what he really looked like in real life. I don't know. I remember you sold this thing, and I was shocked at how much it, how much that stupid little, like, yeah, chip. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was like it was like a pog kind of thing. Yeah, it was like a button. Uh, I don't think this sold as well as that. Maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna guess. So, how do you? Can you tell me what the pong chip sold for? Hundred dollars on the on the paper button. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sixty nine ninety nine. Sixty nine ninety nine. All right, so we had Mark at thirty four ninety nine. Rome at forty nine. Okay. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Dan was in for this one. Maybe he was. Yeah, he was because yeah. So he's Dan's at fifty nine. That may that have been sure. for the pennant. That may have been a pen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it wasn't for a giveaway anyway. So even if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me see how Andy did. What did you say again, Andy? Sixty nine ninety nine. Sixty nine ninety nine. Oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! 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 I think you would have learned. Went high. Oh. Yeah. I just didn't 20. think this was as as good, but okay. Yeah. The good one. All right. I'm yeah. Look out. Keep, keep my eye out for the knot hole gang. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly uh, Happy Felton, the creepy looking guy. He yeah. does well. I have one other piece from that that group. I forget what it was. Creepy cells, but, apparently. But yeah. All right. 
Cool. All right. So, any anyway, you want to do the honorable mentions? Sure. I have a few more. Let me roll this. mine that I was going to pick last. Is okay. this one here? 1917. It's a very patriotic time, right? World War One. By the way, I think people can take this into account and in how bad this pick is, even if you weren't officially picked it. So no, no, this is. Is this like the this. Black Sox? It is. It is the right team, the White Sox, but uh, the, the jersey it looks like this. So we have the the S with the O X inside. Of it. Let me. I'll show you the close up of the patch. This is like a reproduction a of the patch. Or something? <laughs> no, it's just an S, but it has like American, you know, American flag look with the stripes and ins stars inside. That's cool. So, yeah, very cool uniform. Only wore either one or two or three years. I'm not sure how many years, but not for very long. Not bad. Things gonna give me a lot of uh, a lot of love in the in the draft. Yeah, I no, and it, well, it should not. So, um, okay, yeah, I mean, I had the Milwaukee Brewers powder blues; those were good. Um, I don't know if you have that picture. You don't have to. Um, I, no, I don't have that. No, I didn't pick that. Terrible. Uh, what are you talking about? It's good. I always hated uh, that. I hated their logo with the glove. With the, and, and it, it's an MB in the glove. Nah, never a never a big fan of that logo. Uh, is that what it is? An M with an M and a B and a glove? Oh, you don't, maybe. Not there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to ask for that specific thing, but. Um, <laughs> That's a terrible yeah. photo. What was that? Well, I was, yeah, I was just showing the full jersey. That's kind of what I was doing. But um, let's see. I had. Uh, <laughs> oh, I had the Kansas City powder blue, or not really powder. They're a little bit slightly different. The Bo Jackson here, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, blue with kind of the white. That I thought those were really good. Um, I had the Padres, which people hate. I think San Diego the Padres, current, the current or like the vintage, vintage with the brown and yellow. Yeah, that, those are. I don't like. You know, like right. I like. I sort of like the new ones better. The pinstripe brown and yellow, like the they're sort of cool. Uh, I almost went with this one. Here. The, tie, the Philadelphia Athletics 20s with the elephant. That's a classic one, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went, this is the one I was talking about, with Dave Winfield. I think that's Dave Winfield. Yeah. That's pretty uh, good. I think it's yeah, pretty cool. It's just like, yeah. It's a cool looking one. It's cool. Uh, let me see. Anything else I have on here? Uh, Astros, you had Miami Marlins orange jersey. Remember that one at all? That was kind of a slightly newer one. Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Um, yeah, I, think I, it. I knew I, I only had like six on my list because I didn't need many. <laughs> yeah, I knew you knew I wasn't going to be picking them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I, I so was... we didn't even decide what we're picking next week yet, right? I mean, I guess we're going to go to <laughs> pictures yeah, are yeah. but yeah, that's a cool one. I like it. The other one, there was some like the Colorado Rockies was a cool one. Like, uh, I didn't like that one. I know a lot of people had that on the list, but I didn't like it. Like the pinstripe one you're talking about? Yeah, not yeah, my or favorite. Or the like the big the hurt, sleeves. Sock. I don't like the sleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, we we uh, we're I think we're open to suggestions for sure, right? Um, I think we're probably on the non-sport because we did what did we do? Yeah, we did two sports in a row, so we're back in non-sport. So we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, I know the the Monday night resellers did our did our drug dog draft this week. So. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah. Did Coop, wait? Did any of our picks make the list? I'm serious. Yeah, I'm serious. I knew Dan was in the draft. Dan took a couple of our dogs. Uh, Scooby Doo <laughs> was one. I don't know if Dan yeah. Scooby. I don't, you know Dan Lassie. Dan chose Lassie. Lassie didn't get any love. Really? Okay. Yeah, they were hating did, on Lassie. How about Cujo? Did he make the list? <laughs> Cujo Cujo got hate in the draft. What? Yeah. Cujo's yeah. a. Well, that's not yeah right. It was was it Ray right. Ray took Cujo Dan I think. <laughs> yeah, they they all hated that one. <laughs> I think I think Tim is leading. I believe I didn't look t today, but yesterday. I don't know. Lassie's a pretty good pick. I mean, I would. I think I, you're talking about all time dogs, right? Just dogs, like. Yeah, they were just mocking the age of the this show, and yeah, but yeah, Lassie's classic. Which <laughs> was the first pick? Yeah. All right. Well. You didn't well, say Randy picked them, Dan. I didn't. Pick, I don't think I picked them, did I? Or was I? It was like. You picked them. Um, I forgot if I picked them or if I. Uh, yeah, you picked them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, so we'll figure that out. We'll figure out what we're doing next week. But um, guys, we have a video coming out tomorrow where we opened up a box of mosaic football. You'll watch like two old dudes that have 
no idea what these modern cards are about. Like, what is this thing? What is that called? We have no yeah. idea. I'm so, getting uh, better. I'm getting better. I think each yeah, week yeah. I'm getting a little yeah. bit more and I understand what's going on, but yeah. not, not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But that should, that should wrap it up, right? Any, anything else? Or I think we, no. we covered everything. All good. Yeah. So guys, we'll see you back next Wednesday, eight o'clock. We're not sure what we're doing, but we'll be doing something fun and we'll yeah. see you. Uh, see you next week. Peace. Oh.